Throughout history, smallpox, a disease caused by the variola virus, killed millions of people and often left survivors with disfiguring scars. It was highly infectious and there was no cure. To prevent it, the practice of variolation was used in ancient Africa, India, and China. It involved administering secretions from smallpox patients to individuals through a skin scratch or by inhalation. Although there was a risk of severe disease, the aim was to cause fewer deaths than if they had acquired smallpox naturally. It was a risk that many were willing to take. This practice reached Europe and became very popular in the early 18th century. People also started to observe that those who had cowpox, a disease with similar symptoms but much milder, didn't get smallpox. There were also reports of people causing the deliberate infection of cowpox as a method to prevent smallpox. Enter Edward Jenner, a physician with a keen scientific mind whose interests included flying balloons, playing the violin, and the study of birds. He also had a keen interest in studying how smallpox could be prevented. In May 1796, Jenner used some fluid from skin lesions from a dairy maid who had cowpox and inoculated an eight-year-old boy. After a few months, he then exposed the boy with matter from a fresh smallpox lesion and waited. And waited. And waited. He did not develop smallpox. He repeated his experiment on others and published his findings. This method became known as vaccination, derived from the Latin word for cow, vacca. He continued his work on vaccination, but it wasn't welcomed universally. His methods were challenged by his peers, and there were even rumors that vaccination would turn people into cows. Despite this, he continued his work on vaccination. He even operated a free vaccination clinic for the poor in the garden of his home. Gradually, vaccination started to gain popularity and eventually replaced the practice of variolation. It brought hope to many as a simple way to protect themselves from a deadly disease. In 1967, the World Health Organization launched an intensified global smallpox vaccination campaign. And in 1980, smallpox was eradicated, becoming one of the major successes of public health. And that is the story of Edward Jenner, a catalyst in the story of vaccination.